Hi, Steve here from photomasteryclub.com and in this quick video I'm going to show you a tutorial on how you can use Photoshop to fix muddy colors in your photos. So just like this one on the screen at the moment, uh, you know, there's a whole host of reasons why our camera doesn't always do the best job of rendering colors very well. Um, so just like with this one here, I'm just going to run through a few techniques that you can use uh, to correct any uh, any color imbalances before you continue on with the rest of your workflow to process your image so this is the kind of thing you want to do at the start of your workflow and then you know that will make sure that any other edits you do after that are basically being applied to you know an image with the correct colors so you know you don't want to do too much before you get to this point if uh, you know if you want to find out my entire six stage workflow so you know exactly when to implement this kind of uh, technique then there should be a button below this video now where you can uh, click to to go and grab that a button or a link if you're watching this on uh, youtube um, but for now let's just show you the uh, the techniques themselves so the first thing to point out with uh, this image in particular is that there's quite a sort of dark area in the middle so it's quite a high contrast shot because we've got the sun shining off of these uh, snowy mountains at the top here and then you've got these really dark um, sort of reeds or grass on the side of the river uh, just down in the front here so you know there's quite a big difference in brightness between those now when you're working on um, fixing colors and correcting any uh, sort of color balance issues then you know it's probably a good idea to kind of brighten up areas like this so that you can actually see the colors that you're working on um, so the first thing I'll do now to uh, to just sort of do that and this is like a pre uh, like a pre-step really to the color correction technique itself um, is I'll add a curves adjustment and I'll just use the curve I'll click here in the middle of the line and just push it up to brighten the uh, image just so that these uh, these grassy bits in the middle start to look uh, bright enough that I can see them um, and obviously it's brightening the whole image up we don't want that so I'll just mask it out of uh, the uh, the rest of the frame where we don't want it so to do that I'll just click on the layer mask for this curves adjustment and on the keyboard press command or control I so that turns the layer mask black and hides this effect and now with the brush selected and I'll choose a 20% opacity and with a white foreground color I'm just going to brush still with the mask selected here I'm just going to brush into the image to reveal this brightening layer and you know just in this darkest sort of area here just to bring the brightness up a little bit and maybe a bit down here in the foreground too so I don't want to do too much that's probably about enough there and you know it's got the kind of added bonus of uh, you know, really lifting the brightness here it kind of looks as if the uh, the sun is shining a bit more on on that uh, part of the scene so that's quite a nice effect overall but you know this really um, you know I find that even just brightening up an image can help with uh, the muddiness of the colors themselves but you know that's not uh, well it's it's rare that that's all you need to do to fix the muddy colors what you'll want to do next is uh, some color correction so there's a whole heap of ways to do that I'll show you one which is uh, again using another curves adjustment so I'll add a new one there so we've got a curves 2 adjustment layer added there now and what I'll do is basically we're going to correct the highlights manually uh, in each of the color channels so each of the red green and blue channel so just in this little drop down here I'm first going to pick red and I'm just going to grab the uh, the white point slider here and I'm going to move it to the left until it kind of is uh, until it's in line with the the very tip of the histogram there and I'm going to let go so you can see as I do that it adds a bit of a red tint to the image uh, but that's okay for now because that will all correct itself when we've uh, when we've done this on the green and blue channels as well so just switch into the green channel again just slide this up a little bit to uh, to put it in line with the edge of the histogram there 
And then with the blues, this one's going to go a bit further this time, so to about here. And hopefully you can see now that compared to the original, um, you know, if I if I hide this uh, this curves adjustment layer, then you know the colors go from a sort of muddy greeny horribleness to like a nice vibrant daytime colors. So I just toggle that off and on a couple of times so you can see. And now if we compare by hiding both of these layers that we've just created. So this is the original shot, quite dark and murky and doesn't look very pleasant. And now a nice vibrant and uh, you know correctly colorful image. So just to take this uh, one step further, let me just reopen the uh, Curves 2 properties panel. So, you know, all we've done here is adjust the uh, the, the white point. Now you can do the same thing. If, if you do that and it's still not looking great um, or as good as you think it can be, um, you can do the same thing, but in reverse with the, uh, the black point. Now with this particular image, I'm not really gonna be able to do that because the histogram uh, is pretty close to the very edge of the, uh, yeah, to, to basically zero. So I've not really got anywhere that I can move these sliders before it starts clipping the, uh, the, the histogram. So, you know, just to be aware though, that if you've got a histogram, uh, or if you've got an image where the histogram doesn't quite reach the very uh, edge on the left-hand side of the histogram, then you, you'll also have the option to correct the black point um, to, to correct those colors in the shadows. But, you know, through experience, I find that you know, most of the time, just doing it in the uh, top end of the histogram does a great job. Now, if, you know, if you've done one or the other, or you, you can't do the, the black point because of the, uh, the shadows are already really dark, then one other thing you can do is use the, uh, the gray eyedropper tool. And so that's just the middle one here. And just make sure you've got that selected. And what you can do with this one is basically look for anything in your image that um, that should be gray. So you're looking for the grayest, um, you know, the grayest of the gray within your image. And let me just see if I can find one here, for example. So maybe down here, this little bit of reflection of the cloud. If I click that now, then it's going to automatically change the uh, the curves adjustment to make whatever I click on a proper pure middle gray. So if I do that now, it's quite a subtle change because it must have already been very close to a gray anyway. Um, let me just undo that. So Command or Control Z to undo. And you should see a slight shift in color there. But what you can do with this gray point is actually just you know, move around the image, click something, see the effect and if you like it you can keep it if not you can just press command or control z to undo it and you know like i said you can just keep moving around the image there to see if uh, if any of these gray points do a better job or improve the colors in any way um, but that's an optional step you don't have to do that i think i quite like it how it is at the moment so i'm not gonna not gonna do that now the final tip that i want to give you here is uh, you might have noticed that just with this curves to adjustment layer in moving these uh, you know in, in moving the white points for each of the uh, R, G and B channels we've actually brightened the image if you don't want to uh, to have that brightening effect if you only literally want the color to uh, to change then what you can do is change the blend mode of this curves adjustment layer to color. And when I do that, you'll see it, uh, the image just went a little bit darker and that's because it's only now uh, taking the color um, part of, the, of this adjustment. So if, let, me just, uh, let me just toggle this off and on again and you'll see the color slightly shifting. So this is without and this is with. You sort of notice it more if you look up here in the white area, um, you know, in the in the snow and the clouds. 
So this is without and this is with, but you'll notice it's uh, it's not brightening the uh, the image at all when I do this. So you know if if you find that just on the normal blend mode it's uh, making the image just a bit too bright or it's maybe blowing some of the highlights a little bit, then that's what you can do. You can just change the blend mode to color. And there we go. That is how well, that is one way that you can uh, fix muddy colors in your photos. So, like I said, uh, I think I mentioned it already. If you uh, if you want to download my six step Photoshop workflow PDF, uh, which is going to lay out the uh, you know the framework for processing an image from start to finish, and it's going to tell you where and when you should be doing each type of adjustment, so that you get everything. Uh, down in a consistent manner and get great results every time then yeah click the link or the button below this video and you'll be able to uh, to go and download that okay so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time